Howdy YouTube, Essex here with a little update video. I just uploaded the newest ISOs for the Essex OS project. Uh, a few days ago, I updated the Easy Archer ISOs. So I haven't made a video really describing anything related to my respins in a while. Uh, if you've been paying attention to my channel, I've done a bit of purging of all of the past update videos because the content in those really dates very quickly, much quicker than I'd like. So I've decided not to really do update videos. I'm doing this as almost a final update style video. When I release new ISOs from time to time, um, I'm just going to put them up. If you track my SourceForge project, or if you track the OSDN.NET project, let's open that in a new window. You'll see when I upload new ISOs. For the time being, I have left the previous edition up, the Esnix OS 115 K2 and X1 releases up simultaneous to the newest 116 X1 and 116 K2 ISOs. The only real thing that changed in Debian is uh, a slightly updated kernel with security patches, some security updates. If you check out the Debian News website here on their own page, uh, their own website. It lists all of the miscellaneous bug fixes. You can look through them, see what was fixed in the 11.6 release, as opposed to what was in the 11.5 release. Security updates that it were applied, and yeah, that's about it. It's not very exciting in the world of Debian. Usually, you get a little more stability <laughs> and a little more, uh, some more fixes, but same old software release numbers. So if you're hunting new releases of packages, Debian's probably not your best place to be. If you really like those daily updates, go to Arch and my easy Arch project it's got you covered there. So if you like the stability of Debian desktop or you prefer the ever-changing rolling release nature of Arch, I think I've got you covered either way. Now, just as a very brief explanation, my projects attempt to replicate my desktop as I use it. It's a very personal selection uh, packages, a very personal selection of theming if I choose to do so, and a couple of wallpapers just as suggestions. All nature shots, that's what I do. So if you like the projects and you want to use them, feel free to use them. They are not a negotiating point or starting off point uh, from which to make suggestions. If you have a viable improvement to what I offer, I'm more than happy to hear suggestions. But if you want different package selection, different wallpapers, different themes, you know what? Install it and do what you want to it. What I provide is what I use, whether it's on XFCE desktop, and you'll notice besides the wallpaper, the desktops are identically set up between the ISO and my desktop. If I want to use another desktop, like with Arch, I provide ISOs set up the way I would set them up for my own use, whether it's XFCE, Mate, LXQT, KDE Plasma, GNOME, which I would never use, and Cinnamon. And that's it. 
It's very simple. The theming choices, the package selection, the default configuration of things like partitioning, file systems, system D units, services, such. That's all my, what I would set up for my own use. You are more than capable of changing whatever setting or uh, tweaking whatever look and feel uh, element you so desire. I prefer to ship with only default packages out of the standard repositories, whether it be Arch repositories or Debian repositories. I do, in Debian, enable the non-free and contrib sections. I do enable backports. So I do provide myself access to slightly newer software if I should want it in Debian. In Arch, I provide myself with the multi-lib repository uh, in addition to the core and the extra in the community. I don't do testing. I don't do experimental in any way. If you want to do that, go for it. Do it. That's great. That's not how I use my system. Therefore, that's not how I set up the ISOs. I don't think there's anything more to say, really. They're up there. Use them. If you find problems, certainly I would enjoy hearing about any problems people have. And if it's something related to my own method or any choices I've made in the construction, I'll be happy to adjust and fix problems. So please let me know if you have an issue. Otherwise, if you like it, use it. If you don't like it, you don't got to use it. It's just Arch. It's just Debian. As next OS is the Debian-based project. Easy Arch is the Arch-based project. So have fun. Take care. Stay safe. Have a happy holiday season. And you'll see me in another one, folks. Bye-bye.